Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to go over how to address a many-to-many -many relationship. So first let me tell you what a many-to-many -many relationship is. A many-to-many -many relationship occurs whenever you have a relationship, such as the relationship I have here between a student entity and a section entity, where on both sides of that relationship there's a many. Now if we think about this logically, this makes sense to us because we know that a student can take one-to-many sections and a section can be taken by one to many students. Okay, it doesn't make sense that a student can only take one class, and it doesn't make sense that a class can only have one student. So that's reality. That's how the world basically operates. Now, the problem is that on each side of the relationship, we have to have a foreign key. And if you have a many to many relationship, you can't stick a foreign key in either spot. Okay, so I can't come over here and just add in a foreign key for CRN to student because we've established that a student takes one to many classes. Okay, so if they're taking multiple classes, they can't have multiple things inside of a single attribute. That's not how SQL works. On the flip side, if I come over here to section and I plop down a uh, foreign key, and if I call this uh, student ID, this also doesn't work, okay? Because we know that with a section, it's taken by multiple students. So what do we do in this case? Well, the good news is that we have a really simple way to address this. And that's what's called an associative entity. What an associative entity does is it takes the primary keys from all of the entities involved. Typically, there's only gonna be two entities involved, but sometimes there's three or more entities involved. In our example, there's only two entities involved. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab a nice little table entity here, and I'm going to make an associative entity. So for this associative entity, you could call it student section if you want. I'm going to call it registration. And like I say, you take the primary keys from all the entities involved. So the first entity involved is student. This uh, primary key for student is student ID. So that becomes not only a primary key, but also a foreign key. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take the other entity involved, which is section. We're gonna take its primary key, which was CRN. And that's gonna become not only the primary key but also a foreign key because it does not originate inside of this particular entity. Now finally, I'm going to put a term here. You don't have to do that, but in some cases it's going to make sense to add in maybe a third or a fourth, you know, new attribute to an associative entity. It kind of depends on circumstances. Um, you know, commonly you'll see an item entity where you have an entity for all these different items and you have a location entity and you want to have inventory. Well, the problem is, is that an item is going to be at multiple locations, or at least it can, and a location is going to have multiple items. So in that case, what I like to do to address that many-to-many -many relationship is I like to have an associative entity where I take the item ID, which might be universal product code, it might be some sort of a barcode that we created, I like to take the primary key from location, might be location ID, might be location number, whatever the case is. And then I like to add in a quantity attribute. That way I know how many of that item I have at that location. So some really cool ways to address that. Now, once we have gotten rid of this particular uh, situation here, we now have a relationship between the student entity and registration and registration and section. So what we can do is we can say that a student has one to many registration, but a registration has one and only one student. And we know that because the student ID is inside of registration. So it can't belong to multiple students if part of that composite primary key is student ID. Same thing with registration and section. Now we say that section has one-to-many registrations, 
but a registration belongs to one and only one section. So that's how we can address many-to-many -many relationships. In general, we don't let these get to the SQL part. Okay, so we do this in the data modeling part of making a database, and the reason for that is really simple. Okay, when we're working with many-to-many -many relationships, what we have to keep in mind is that they need to be addressed before we do the SQL because once we're in the SQL, we cannot identify the relationship. Okay, we, to identify a relationship, we need to have a foreign key. The purpose for that is to do table joins. You can't do a table join between student and section because they have no foreign key they can share. There's a many-to-many -many relationship there. So that's where you would address that is at the data modeling phase. I hope that was helpful. I uh, hope you have a great rest of the day.